Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. My name is t e d o uh, and today I will teach you how to play y u n o i Does anyone here ever play board games? Yes. Raise your hand, please. Yeah. Board games. Board games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which board game do you like? Uh, shogi. <coughs> shogi? I know Shogi. Yeah. Uh, It's also a good okay. board game yeah. in Japanese board game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And have you ever heard of y u n o i before? No. <laughs> But that's fine. Uh, it's a traditional Korean board game uh, that Koreans commonly play every New Year. Most people don't know how to play y u n n o r i but by following these five steps, you will be able to play y u n n o r i correctly. And first, you need to get several things before you play this game. Uh, you, ought to, you ought to have you board. Here, you fold and you fix, you fix, yeah. and tokens. So you fix uh, act as uh, act as a dice in this game. Dice, yeah. Although they are normally made by wood, <laughs> I will give you handmade paper you uh, you fix since the original wood is too expensive in Canada. Yeah, I don't. You can afford it. It is uh, original u s t i c s the made oh. by wood. Mm. But I will give you just a paper u s t i c My hand will be things die every time. <laughs> you go to the rich. Uh, <clears throat> but paper u s t i c s also work well. Yeah, good. <laughs> the tokens are the playing pieces used in the y u n o i game. Uh, and each player needs to at least one. At least one, but I give you two, right? Each two. Two c h a n Yeah. Two and <laughs> you can also play this game to use different shapes, uh, shapes like animal, a uh, yeah, animal, and a cube or a square one. This. Yeah, whatever you want, choose. Yeah. And the u t h board, the u t h board consists of four straight lines. Four s e c o n d lines and two diagonal lines. Does anyone know what diagonal means? No. Yes, you do. Diagonal. No. Uh, diagonal. <laughs> diagonal. Diagonal. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> diagonal means a uh, straight line uh, joining two uh, two two opposite corner. Of a square. This is diagonal. Yeah. <laughs> And each straight line has five spots. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Wait, wait, wait. Six. Sorry, sorry. I'm just saying. Each straight line has six spots. And each diagonal line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven spots. Also, there are five big intersection spots on the board. Here, 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 here. So, for five. Are you with me so far? Yes. Uh, second, you have to divide into two to four teams for once a game. Does anyone know how many players all are on the, this game? Four. Four? Yeah, actually. The normally, Uh, when you play this game, Koreans have two, two, six, or four uh, persons per team. And, but it's not, it's not mandatory. Uh, this game has no limit of players to join in. Yeah. And does anyone know what coin toss mean? Means coin toss. No coin. It is coin toss. <laughs> this, this. So, hmm. uh, it would be a good idea to do a uh, coin toss to divide the teams. And also, you ought to make a decision of which team play first. I think rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors is the best way to choose a playing order for you. Do you understand? Yes. 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 After that, you must know how to move your team tokens when you throw the use sticks in the air. Hmm? What I mean? Okay. Yeah. Three 
stands with surface and one clip uh, is do. Do. Do is uh, in a small term. Yeah. So like a pork game game. Yeah. And 
And uh, anyway, <laughs> wait a minute. And that that the player can roll the u sticks one more again, one more again. If you catch another team tokens, you can move one more again. You can roll, roll one more again. Yeah. And player who is caught by a positive should go back to the starting point. He said, yeah, starting point. Shoot back. And you can stack, you can stack your team tokens if you reach your team token at the same spot. It's also important to learn. If you have a token is here, and your team, your, your team, team player lower the lower the six and get a uh, like gay. Gay means like two spot, right? Mm. They, uh, he can step on your token like this. Ah, step. Okay. Yeah. So you just can't stay if it's a different color. Different color? No. Same color. Only same color. Same team. Yeah. Same team. Yeah. And if you stack the these tokens, maybe uh, for example here, you you need to move just the one, this the one, not to separate. So you stay in the same the same spot. We need to move every time the same spot the same. Yes. Okay. Same thing. It's a step. Step meaning step. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, but this this could be dangerous as you can be caught by other players. Right? Yeah. If you catch these two coins, you mean like a taken off. Two coins. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a bit dangerous. Could be. Also, you can move one spot back. One spot back. When when three stands with wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Here. Also you can move one spot back when three stands with surface and one flip with a marking X. Making like X or something else. Whatever you want, you're marking there. That means like a back door. Yeah. If you get a backdoor without without the team tokens on the board, you have to draw again. If you want to get a backdoor, you need to your team token on the your board at least one. Yeah. If you not or not, you have to draw again. One more thing. Did you understand what backdoor means? Backdoor. Yeah. Backdoor. This is backdoor. Uh, finally, finally, you should have a good strategy while playing this game. If you want to win, you need to get round. Yeah. You need to get round and back your team or team tokens to starting spot. It's a win win play. And also, you can move in a. Diagonal direction for a short way to win this game. Like this, yeah. This is most short way to win this game. Mm, well, uh, anyway, yeah. But it depends on whatever comes from your sticks because. You need to get an uh, intersection, uh, like get this intersection spot, and you can move your team token while your turn, while your turn. But you need to talk to your teammate to find a good way. Um, anyway, after throwing new sticks. You have to choose which token you're gonna move. At that moment, if your team tokens can, if your team tokens can catch the other team's one, you must move that token, to that token to catch it. Since I say I said that, you can lower again one more time for a special rule. Catch that if you catch that other team token. And it, it would be a good way to win this game. 
Did you catch this step? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. In conclusion, as you can see, if you follow the simple five instructions, you can perfectly play Unknowing games. And it might help to improve uh, your cooperation skill. And thank you for listening. And have a lot of fun with friends playing Unknowing. That's right. Yeah, okay. That's so can, can you help us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. If you have a question, yeah. ask me. Play until we go. No, no, just a <laughs> 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 <laughs>